Merry New Year and what a great, I don't know, you know, <coughs> sorry, I was like stuck, it was stuck right here. <coughs> I think I broke a rib. Ooh. <coughs> Hi, my name is Father Mike Schmitz and this is Ascension Presents. So what a year, I mean, there's something so interesting about the fact that we divide up our lives into segments, right? Whether that be hours or days, weeks, months, years, decades. But whenever we come to the end of a segment and start a new segment, there's something good about that, I think, for us. You know, whether that be the end of the church year and the beginning of the new liturgical year in Advent or come to the end of the calendar year and the end of December and start a new year in January, on January 1st, there's something really good about this because what it does is it reveals us, reminds us, reveals to us, reminds us of the fact that while life is always new, it's always changing, it's also always the same, right? It's, it's as we say, cyclical. I think so good. I love, one of the things I love about living at the latitude I'm living at in Northern Minnesota is we get four seasons and it constantly changes and it reminds me of like, okay, wait a second. I need to make the most of every single day because every single day is not the same. I don't have an unlimited number of days. I don't have an unlimited number of weeks or months or years in my life. My days are numbered. My breaths are numbered. My heartbeats. I only have so many heartbeats left. In fact, some people, <laughs> some of my friends, I would share with them, you know, um, that when it comes to food, when it comes to meals, I've often shared with them, I'm like, I have a limited number of meals left. And I am not going to waste one on, I apologize, but it's what it is. Like I like Mexican food. I like, I like beans and rice, all those kind of things. But tacos are just, it's a waste of a meal in my mind. And you might love tacos. Comment below if you love tacos. But for me, I have only so many meals left in the course of my life. I don't want to waste a meal eating a taco. What was I talking about? <laughs> what was I tacoing about? Ha, just kidding. I'm talking about the fact that we segment our lives. We divide them up. And that can be really good because it reminds us that we do not have an unlimited number of days, a limited number of years. We don't have an unlimited number of heartbeats or breaths that our days are numbered, our heartbeats are numbered, our breaths are numbered. And there's something so good about coming to the end of one and saying, okay, where am I now that I wasn't a year ago? And looking ahead and saying, okay, where do I want to be in a year that I'm not yet right now? And to be able to say, actually, I get to decide. I get to decide at the beginning of a segment or we want to be at the end of the, end of the segment. I mean, this is, I'm talking years right now because here we are at the beginning of the new year, but this is the case when it comes to a month. Where do I want to be in a month? In four weeks time, where do I want to be? Like, what do I want to be true? And I'll say it like this. What do I want to be true about my life? What do I want to be true about me as a person? Because I can't always control my circumstances, right? I can't control everything about um, the people around me or the things where, where I find myself. But what kind of a person do I want to be in four weeks? What kind of person do I want to be at the end of today. And then again, as we begin this, this new year, what kind of person, what do I want to be true about me on December 31st? That's not true right now. It might be, um, you know, I, I want to be someone who has been there for my family. I want this to be true about me. I want it to be true that I keep my promises. I want this to be true. I want this to be true that um, I'm the kind of person who has prayed I want to be a prayer. By the end of this year, I want to be someone who has shown up for prayer and I know God. Or maybe even like when it comes to the catechism in the year, when it comes to the Bible in a year, like at the end of this year, what I want to be true about me is I want to be someone who I've allowed myself to be shaped. I allow my mind to be shaped, my heart to be shaped by God's word. Like that's so powerful. So it's what Stephen Covey says, I'm going to begin with the end in mind. So let's ask the question, beginning of this new year, ask that question. Okay, what do I want to be true about me at the end of this year that is not currently true. I want to be the kind of person who has, again, is, is patient. I want to be the kind of person who has time for their family, I have time for their friends. That's going to come at a great sacrifice. And so here's the thing. If I begin with the end in mind, it's wonderful. It's having a, that's having a, a wish. It's having a dream. It's having uh, an idea. The moment I say, now ask the question, how am I going to get there? The moment I begin making a plan, that dream becomes a goal. The moment I begin saying, okay, the way I'm going to get to that place is by taking these steps, that wish becomes an actual goal. It actually becomes an objective that I actually might accomplish. So I want to 
<laughs> just take an obvious one. I want to know my faith better. I want to know my faith better at December 31st than I do right now. Okay. Well, what are steps I could take? There's this thing, I apologize, there's this thing called the catechism in the year. Maybe I just press play every day. By the end of the year, even if I even if I wasn't batting a thousand, right? Even if I made mistakes along the way, even if I didn't get every episode in, I would know more about my faith at the end of the year than I know now. Maybe it's the Bible. And so I want to know uh, scripture more. I want to let my mind and worldview be shaped by scripture. Okay, well, what are my steps? I'm going to do the Bible in a year. Maybe it's something else. Maybe again, for myself, I'm just like, oh, I want to, I want to be more present to my family. Okay, that's a great wish. That's a great dream. What are the steps I'm going to take? What are the steps you're going to take? Again, we begin with the end in mind. What do I want to be true about me? What do you want to be true about you at the end of this year that is not currently true? That's the wish. That's the idea. That's the dream. What are the steps you're going to take so that by the end of this year, you'll be just that much closer to being that person that you want to be? Above all, of course, we always bring this before the Lord and we say, okay, God, what do you want? God, what do you want? And then we pursue it with all of our heart, mind, soul, and strength because we're pursuing him with all of our heart, mind, soul, and strength. Anyway, anyway, uh, from all of us here to Sins Presents, try that again. Anyway, from all of us here to Sins Presents, try that a third time. I'm going to get better. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slow down and enunciate more. That's what I want to be. I don't want that. From all of us here to Sins Presents, my name is Father Mike. God bless. And Happy New Year. Hey, Happy New Year's. Happy New Year's. Merry New Year.